What's going on YouTube? How we doing? Beretta19 here. If you're new to my channel, please like, comment, subscribe. Hit your notification bell. Please leave as many comments as you guys can. And of course, smash the like button if you enjoy the video. You guys, as you know me and everything, I always keep it real. always keep it 100. I'll never bite my tongue. I'll never half-ass do nothing. I keep stuff, you know, like I said, you know, real and I keep it unedited um today my topic and everything um before I even get into the topic of the conversation today um thank you guys for the support on the last video for the four likes and my views to study growing on there and like I said you guys I appreciate y'all if you just watch only like I said no matter how much time you watch uh, my videos or support me or you know learn something from them or hey brandon that's a nice gun you checked out or nice gun you had to do everything i appreciate you guys trust me i do i can't upload like i want to you guys know why but um today's topic and everything let me get situated here sorry today's topic and everything is that um i want to discuss a more serious topic even more serious than the one i had in the last video about the firearms and second amendment this one's far greater and that's about the respect of the women in this world. You guys, women are not bees. Women are not HOEs. They are not a, none of that stuff. I don't care if they do act like it and everything. There's no more respect for anybody, particularly for women. I'm, I'm, I'm hearing stuff and everything about women being shot, women being carjacked in broad daylight, and dragged out and raped and everything. I'm going to be honest with you. If you were a man doing this uh, shit and everything, something's wrong with you. Something's wrong with you. I mean, there's there, there's no excuse and everything for no for no woman to be treated that way. I keep telling you and everything how you treat somebody, somebody gonna treat you the same way. There's no excuse for this bullshit. You won't want then y'all. Some of these people who category people I won't get into and everything like whether it's rappers, movie, whatever, movie stars, whoever, athletes, whatever. You all, you're you quick to call a woman a B or an H, but yet if somebody called your pretty daughter or your beautiful mother, your auntie or your wife a B and everything, now you want to get all on the offensive. Don't be a hypocrite. That's not their name, okay? You don't, I mean, if you're a man and you're watching this video, you say, well, Brandon, all... All women are bees. All women, they, they done me like this and everything. No, they're not. I'm sorry, I disagree. That's one, one cuss word I don't use is the B word or the H word. Even if they act like it, I don't use that. Women need to be treated with more respect in this damn world. All this grabbing and grabbing women and throwing them in trunks and raping them and tying them up and treating them like trash and running trains and stuff on them and everything, that, that shit ain't right. Yeah, I said it. That shit ain't right. Women need to be served to be treated. They're God creatures. Okay? God made them for a reason. And I don't know about you, but I'd be damned if I'm on earth with a, a, a whole earth full of men. Ain't no damn women here. That shit out the box. I ain't dealing with that. Start treating your women better. If you don't want nobody calling your mother a bee, or your daughter a bee, or your grandmother, or your... uh sister or auntie or whatever woman is important in your life then damn it don't call nobody else or uh, um mother or, or nobody else's mother or daughter or anything to be that's not their name they're not female dogs it's disrespectful and all you ignorant ass people who keep running around here uh carjacking with women and pushing women to the ground disrespecting everything i'm gonna tell you you're gonna push the wrong woman I don't care who she is, where she's from, what she like. You're going to push the wrong damn woman and everything. She's going to put some holes in your ass. The way y'all, the way women in period is being treated in this world is we, the world treats them like they're nothing more than like frozen food that just chill on the shelf. I'll pull it out when I need it. When I'm done, I'll stick it back on the shelf. That's wrong. That's wrong. Now, I personally, I have a sister. Everything, I have a little niece, and I have a mother. I have aunties, and I have a grandmother, just like just like anyone else. Yeah, I be damned, I put money on it. I dare your ass to call them a B. I don't care if you related to me or not. Call them a B or call them a H out their name. See what happened in your ass. That ain't a threat, that's a damn promise. 
There's no excuse for that. If a relationship don't work out, let the woman be. Hell, I didn't have relationships and everything. Female didn't play me, didn't done me wrong and disrespect and everything. That don't mean I go chop them up and send them back to their parents. What kind of crazy ass shit is y'all own, America? Treat women with respect. If she don't want to give it up to you, then you're going to find somebody else who will. Don't go take something that don't belong in your ass. That's called a thief. <laughs> you don't do that. You want nobody grabbing and raping your daughter, raping your uh, mother or uh, 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 sister or something like that. You don't want that. You guys kill me. You're hypocrites. You're hypocrites. You talking about, oh, I, oh, I call a woman a B in a minute. I call a woman a H in a minute. Oh, really? Let, okay, let me ask you this then. To all my people, particularly men, who do these things and have done these things, somebody calls your daughter a B. You're a pretty little girl. Calls your daughter a B. What you stand there, what you gonna do? Somebody disrespect your mama, call her a B. What you gonna do? Somebody call your girl, your baby mama, your wife. They call you a, her a B. Her, her, or she a slut. She's a whore and everything. What you gonna do? No, no, don't tell me you're gonna just, oh, just laugh it off like nothing happened. Have that same respect. Same way you respect them, have that same respect for somebody else's daughter. If you don't, if, if the relationship, excuse me, relationship don't work out, leave. I've been broke. I've been played. Like I said, I've had my heart broken before too. I didn't have females walk off, leave me too. I didn't walk up on females that I thought was cool, that I thought we was together, and they was kissing on another man. That don't mean I go tie them up and put them in the back of the damn trunk. What the hell is wrong with you? In case you haven't noticed, there are more women in the world. And just because that one didn't work out and everything, that means I got to go kill somebody. You ain't got to do all that. Women, women need to be treated with respect in this world. If you think about it, they're pretty much are the pioneers of the world because they give, they give birth to our kids. Hell, it was a woman that gave birth to me. It was a woman that gave birth to you. Without them giving birth, how will we exist? Treat women with respect. And to y'all women out here that are watching this and everything, don't let no damn man disrespect you. God did not name you no B. God did not name you no H. I don't say those words because that is not in my vocabulary. And I've been mad as hell at some women before, but I ain't never called them any one of those words. You can, but I'm, you can ask people that know me personally. Don't let no man disrespect you like that. Don't let no man treat you like you trash. You better than that. Carry yourself and everything like a lady. You better than that. If I had a daughter, I'd tell her the exact same thing. I have a biscuit head niece that get on my nerves and everything. But I'd be damned you disrespect her. Carry yourself as a woman's supposed to. Don't be having out here showing you have a have an ass cheat every time your ass bend over. Carry yourself respectfully. Also, to my elderly women and everything, lead by example. Y'all want the young generation to act right. Make sure y'all doing on y'all part. Don't get mad at them if they smoking and drinking and partying and everything when you're doing the exact same damn thing in front of them. That's called a hypocrite. Don't do that. I ain't your judge. Take it out over God. I'm not your judge. I'm just keeping it 100 from a man's perspective. Get things together, y'all. Life don't wait on nobody. How you conduct yourself, you always got an audience to, um, excuse me, you always got an audience to people watching you. There's always somebody watching you. Whether it's your daughter, your sister, uh, auntie, your mama, anybody. Anybody that's female around you, carry yourself as a woman's supposed to. Don't get it twisted as a man. I don't mind looking at that when they walk by. I'm keeping it real with you. But it's one thing to carry yourself as a female. But it's another thing to carry yourself as a woman. That's all I'm saying. And every woman out there, I don't care, black, white, Asian, Puerto Rican, Latino, whatever. Whatever race you are, that, that don't matter to me. You stop. Do not let any of these men out here take advantage of you. And don't let any man kidnap you. Don't let any man try to grab you and choke you or your crazy ass ex-boyfriend and everything. I'm going to tell you what you do. Because I know some people, even in my own damn family, have dealt with that. Get you some heat. If you don't know what that is, that's a firearm. Get you some gun. Get you a gun. Protect yourself. 
Don't don't let nobody just do you any kind of way. Get you get you something to protect yourself. Stun gun ain't gonna do it. Put some rounds in his ass. He'll back up. You people crazy how, how they do women and everything. Women are not trash. God put them here for a reason. And they ought to be respected and cherished. If you think what I'm saying is bullshit and everything, like I said, let's, uh, that tells me what kind of relationship you have with the women in your life. I have a beautiful mother, y'all. Beautiful mother. And I be damned. I don't give a damn who it is if anybody, including her own damn relative, disrespect her. I be damned. Especially calling her out of the name. You don't do that. I thank God every day for the women that have been in my life, from my teachers, of course, above all, my mother, that little biscuit head niece of mine, my cousins, and my aunties, and one of my grandmothers. I thank God for them. But I don't disrespect them. I walk away before I disrespect them. Why? One, they're my family, and two, they're women. To all my real men out there, real men, if she ain't the right one, man, you ain't got to grab a choke on her. You ain't got to beat her, knock up against the wall. Go get you somebody that fits you. Go get you somebody that's right for you. Trust me, I understand you, okay? You may say, Brandon, she cheated on me, man. She played me like a fool. I understand all that. Been there, dealt with that. But I ain't going to kill nobody in behind that. They ain't worth, the, they ain't, some people ain't worth a bullet out here. You understand me? Life is too short, y'all. Treat women with respect. You don't want nobody disrespecting the women in your life. The damn it don't disrespect somebody else's daughter. Plain and simple. And last but not least, and I'm going to get off here. Ladies, I'm I'm tired of it. I'm sick of uh, all these kidnappings, rapes, and murders, and all that, everything. If you don't remember nothing else, Brandon, better known as Beretta19, tell you and everything. This is straight from the hip. If a damn man don't uh, respect you and he's trying to force you to do something, physically I'm talking about, force you to do something, trying to kidnap you or rape you, do me one favor. Fight back. Fight back. Don't sit there and act cowardly. I don't give a damn how big he is. Every big nigga can get knocked down. I didn't deal with, I've had problems out of niggas bigger than me since I've been on this earth and I still have no fear. If you ain't Jesus, you ain't God, back the hell up. If not, bring it on. That's how, I, that's how I've always lived my life. Ladies, protect yourself. Watch over. You know, let God lead you. Let God lead you and everything. But don't be a victim uh, out here in society. Don't let no man rape you. Don't let no man rape your daughter. Don't let no man abuse you. You've been raised once. You don't need no, some asshole to come raise you again. Fight back. And this is Beretta 19. Catch y'all next video. Remember what I said, ladies. Don't stand there like a victim. Fight back. Period.